ASRock launches fully passive Radeon RX 7900 GPU, AMD Ryzen 9 9950X hits nearly 6 GHz, topping the performance chart. AMD launches Ryzen 7 8745H APU without the AI processor. AMD officially begins Ryzen 9000 reservations in China and the potential reason for the delay has surfaced. Okay, so first up we have the ASRock launching their AMD Radeon RX 7900 passive series. Well, already you can tell with the naming, they're going for no cooler design or I should say no fan design with the passive cooler. And right now there are two GPUs that will be supporting this passive series which is the RX 7900 XTX and the 7900 XT. Both of these two cards are supporting multi-GPU cooler-rated computing and designed for multi-card parallel computing for better performance. So the design features a vapor chamber, heatsink, efficiency, aluminium cooling fins with v-shaped cutting also as you can see clearly they're also using the 12v 2x6 power connectors which makes the cable management even better and if you look closely you might you might get a familiar look to this gpu which similarly to the asrocks blower style gpus which has the same backplate and of course the same length of the gpu the pcb is literally the same it's just that in this one there are no fan and they're utilizing a thicker much bigger heatsink because of course it's a passive gpu you. So quite interesting to see that they're going for this passive series. I wonder if they're going to be releasing other GPUs with this particular series. But right now there are two GPUs which is the 7900 XT and XTX. So yeah, that's quite interesting. Next up we have the Twitter user HXL has posted this which is the 9950X in a single thread which is in the Geekbench 5 score. In the single thread we're looking at 2795 but before that the clock is 5.96 gigahertz. So if you look closely here this is the Geekbench score we're looking at which is the single core score is 2795 and the multi-core we're seeing is 30,050. Not only that, if you look into the maximum frequency, we have 5,963, basically 5.96 gigahertz, which is exactly close to 6 gigahertz, or you can just say it's a 6 gigahertz because, you know, it's a 5.96, so quite close to 6 gigahertz. So it's almost reaching 6 gigahertz, good to see that. And of course, it's a 16 core, 32 threads, doesn't have to think about which processor this is, which is the 9950X. So there's no doubt about that so already the amd processor are going in terms of clocks very high which is good to see and this particular score is in the top charts when you compare the whole listing over there not only that there's another information about the world record sp lave has got the most score most single core score of course which is the 3390 with the intel core i9 4900ks obviously this is liquid cold so or liquid nitrogen i should say so it's for the world record and stuff so it's not going to be the vanilla performance performance more like the overclock performance which is clocking at 8260 megahertz basically 8.62 gigahertz which is crazy the first rank we're looking at which is crossing the 8 gigahertz mark pretty impressive next up we have an interesting information from at real victor m and we can see is that ryzen 7 8745h has been launched by amd and when you look into the specs here which is quite interesting which is the ryzen 7 8745h is utilizing the zen 4 architecture with 4 nanometers of note clocking at 4.9 gigahertz which is the boost clock and the l3 cache would be 24 megabytes but there are no ai processors we do have the radeon 780m but it has lower clocks in terms of the gpu of course which is the 12 cu rdna3 but clocking at 2.6 so if you look closely here the ryzen 7 8745hs is clocking at 2.6 but the rest of the other cpus are clocking at 2.7 and 2.8 depending on the cpu of course so this not only has lower clocks in terms of GP iGPU but also doesn't support the NPU which is the AI accelerator of course so it's, it isn't an AI processor it's just a vanilla processor without the AI but lower clocks at the iGPU and at the boost clock so I'm guessing basically they had some they had some of the SKUs available and I guess they had just renamed it so that you know they can sell it more because I, I'm guessing the AI accelerator don't work because you know it's a silicon lottery anything can go wrong so I guess that is what their marketing run which is efficient you know they can sell it so why not don't want to waste the wafers right and of course it's going to be coming with the laptop so of course we'll see we'll be seeing these processors on the laptops and lastly we have something interesting a story about the uh, potential delay 
days that has come for the Ryzen 9000 launch. And now I guess we know the reason behind it. So first up, we have the AMD Ryzen 9000 series CPUs has been listed on an official store through JD in China. And they're actually selling it. Well, basically to be released, not yet selling. Just that the pricing hasn't been updated yet. And they will be released when it gets launched, of course. But there's one interesting point here, which is that the Ryzen 9 9600X and the 9700X are both are coming with a free CPU cooler. But this particular CPU cooler is not just free, it's a special edition, which is the one, once human game themed CPU cooler, as you can see right here, which is quite interesting, right? Because they that's not a Raid Stealth cooler or even Prism cooler. That is basically a free cooler just for promotion. I'm not sure how free that is because we don't know the pricing yet. So we can't really entirely say that is free, but it is it is still cool to see that they are making a promotion and giving you a, such a beefy cool cooling system. So that's pretty nice. Still, I doubt that it's going to be actually free. Not only that, there was a tweet that has been deleted, but video cards have extracted that. And as you can see, this is the information that we have found according to Unico hardware. So they're saying that there are four points, or I should say five points, which is they start sending samples to some reviewers. The some reviewers report way worse performance, which is of course alarming. You don't want to see a reviewer sample to have a bad performance. That is not going to help the cost for AMD. So basically, they looked into the problem and found out that the SOC packaging has some issues and that's why they recalled all ship cpus now question is most of the reviewers in the whole world haven't received any ryzen 9000 cpus yet so i'm not sure if this is a credible source or not but according to unico's hardware at least they're saying that they got some reviewers samples that had these issues which is the associate packaging issue and that was resulting in bad performance so that is of course not a good news at least we do know that the review embargo dates our Ryzen 7 9700X and the Ryzen 5 9600X will be August 7 and the Ryzen 9 9900X and the 9950X will be August 14th. Not only that, the Ryzen 9000 announcement will be on June 4th, which is quite obvious because, you know, after launch, you will have some of the dates for the product to be reviewed. So the date aligns, the new date, of course. We also have Ryzen 9000 Zen 5 Tech Day, which will be on July 15th and further Zen Gen 5 Air RENF 3.5 architecture details will be on July 24th. And now that the July 31st original launch date has been cancelled. And now I guess we know the reason why. So I'm hopeful that they will be able to resolve this issue because that's quite interesting that they will have associate packaging issue at this point, which is quite weird, but I'm guessing that won't be a problem anymore. We'll see about that.